Aloha and happy Aloha Friday. Well, the new moon passed and boy, wasn't that a shaky ride to start off the summer with, with so much natural disasters from left to right. And you know, my prayers goes out to everyone who's got affected. And as the full moon is coming up on the 23rd and the 24th of July, it's really the peak of the lunar cycle. And things that we really need to focus coming up on this full moon is really about power control. And the issue is who has it it's going to be because there's gonna be a lot of echoing of what's going on that happened back in the earlier of this year. And earlier of this year, there's a lot of things that happened when we looked into about rules and regulation and all that stuff. And so, you know, right now, those are the things that's gonna be really, really affected. A lot of truth is gonna be coming out, a lot about disclosures, and a lot about freedom, and most of all, technology. Because we're gonna get this effect through the internet, and it's already happening about cyber attacks, and you know, believe it or not, galactic news is going to start to come in. And so there's a lot of changes of the switches of what's happening. And it's because, like I mentioned in my, big, in my July YouTube, is about when things are ready to change for the next 20 years, because it is a cycle that it happens. It is what it is. And when I do the calculation, you know, when it first, how, how, the, how things really started in 1988, where there is a huge galactic era changes that happened. And when I'm saying that is we got introduced to this internet thing computers back then and so that transpired and that's going to do that big change the overall change overhaul change excuse me for the next 20 years and so it's like really you know a lot of of people who does my work is we really look at different kind of ways of the universe because those are really the ones that has these energy power of what happens it doesn't pinpoint that this is this is this it takes us to kind of self-analyze what's going on along with these changes that's happening and so so far you know all of these things are going to really really start to affect us because the top-down way, which is a vertical way, is going to really affect the past and the future. It's going to go really, really quick now. So the past is really was controlled by, you know, top-down authorities and so forth. And so what I'm saying is when we enter this kind of forwarding to the future, is really ether energy and when i'm saying that is because there is the old way which is a top-down way of doing things which is you know non-organic meaning that it's developed in different form in different ways and organically which is from the ground up and so meaning fresh fruits vegetables from literally from the ground up with nature with sun not synthetic ways of it being made or produced and so there is that vertical way and this horizontal way of how things is going to go you know and the old way is the government rules this is what you're going to do blah 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 
and the grassroots way is really the people and so we're going to see this heavy heavy change and it's already happening here in hawaii you know finally government put out themselves because social media got crazy about these tourists and we welcome the tourists but have respect to our aina our land our culture our beliefs you know people out there taking pictures with monk seals you can't be doing that touching turtles you can't be doing that you can't be doing certain things that you know this is where mindfulness comes and when that happens you know really to the people of hawaii that really affect us huge and so finally you know the governor stepped in and all these things is you know putting into place on how to implement more knowledge more education about our culture when you do come here and so these this is a perfect example what i'm saying is about grassroots community coming together and pointing out what's right and what's wrong i mean use your consciousness common sense mindfulness and all of this really affects what's the community and that's what happened and within like less than a week i mean this whole week everybody was posting all over social media about this disrespect and so this is what's going to start to really emerge and a great thing living out here in hawaii is that we're an island and we all have pretty much when it comes to our land our lifehood we really come together i mean it's a powerful force and it's because we believe in haumea and haumea is really she can birth anything from left to right the power if you have that collectiveness and the mindfulness and the consciousness from the grass root and then that way we can go and bring power to the people to tell the government and govern what is supposedly correct instead of just ignoring all of this until now and i think that's what 2020 did it gave us more consciousness about mother earth i never seen so much people you know get into gardening which is so wonderful you know and it's a lot of these things are old school are always good school that we need to keep on striving and keep on teaching the the next generation and it's so good to see that happening here in hawaii you know it's just it's really polar opposite of what my life was in LA for the past five, six years versus what's here. And so I need to go back and I need to start to do things from literally the ground up and I need to have my place ready the way it is done. You know, I'm over here doing some renovation and you know, every time the contractor comes and certain places like right now, I just throw Hawaiian South you know and i have thrown some hawaiian salt just now and put on an instant and just you know and there is a reason why i do that is to because you know people cleanse themselves but at the same time they take out their waste they, they detox and so some of these energies that until now until you lift things up you need to I'm, i gotta make sure all of this is just the frequency the vibration the energy is cleared and blessed you know, and I love using Hawaiian salt for that. So, like, this is what I'm saying is, is that these changes and people's like, oh, what's the future is going to be? And I say, it's going to be really an ether energy of the future because it can be where it's how you create your life, right? And it's like the sheet of music. You know, whether you you are really the composer of your own life. What music or what beat, what frequency, what energy, what feelings you have that you want to visualize and see yourself in the next 20 years. And 
then thank God, you know, when I look back and for some great reason, I had my toolbox over here and kept it from the time I went to school. I mean, this is like old school records of my, my, when I was a kindergarten, you know, and how I was working from 1988 Exactly, and this is when it all started. This is how we used to do our timesheet, you know, 1988 and how much within one month from 850 to $15 because they recognize the owner myself worth. And so this is, this is literally like, I'm not joking, but back to the future. I made it like, you know, we used to see that movie and we we're like, wow. Are we going to make it till then? It sounds so far away. And it is because who would have thought back in 1988 how my life is going to be? But I had a vision because I, I said, okay. And I remember leaving this job to move to my next job, which was, you know, working at Koksai Kogya, Kyoya Company, the owners of hotels and you know, one of the biggest company in Japan. And so things happen because you, when you put vision and it's like artwork or it's like composing a music, is it like a sheet of music or a blank canvas of, you know, ready to paint your blueprint? And so those that I worked with, one-on-one -on -one group, you know, on my ELP course, which is Eat, Love, and Pray, we learn how to identify these things to really find our blueprint in life. And as I always say, it's never too late to start over again. Because we do need to start over again. Because if we keep on going and going like if we still drive the same car over and over again that car is going to eventually break down or need new parts or new this or new that and we need to you know we using this is our vehicle our vehicle of life to go forward and so why i'm saying this so strongly versus of all my other videos is because when you find that spiritual evolution that path you know you're gonna go forward and that started back in 2011 2012 when that you know I, I'm not gonna be saying about Mercury or or Saturn or this or that yes it all has to do with all of that but I'm talking in everyday language because I am my spiritual force who have gone through you know, doing it for some odd reason, I decide to keep my life and to track my life in a little box like this. And, and you know, sometimes there's that message is like, if what will you say to your future, you know, your past you or your future you? You know, and this is a way to keep because when when are you gonna do it it just takes the time and the tools to put things together then it just becomes a daily routine or a routine yes you're gonna go off course but that's part of life that's part of life to figuring out does this person had a reason to be in my life and sometimes there is a reason and there is a season for when it's time to depart. And if it's really a lifetime, and if it was really meant to be, it will all come back to a certain time in your life. Just really believe in the process, because before when you get too, you know, architecturally, like structured in a certain way you're gonna have a hard time 
relaxing and and defining and fine-tuning yourself to check in and so I have a lot of things going on yes and I'm putting whatever structure I can you know placemats like my lights over here I haven't decorated yet but every day I see it and every day I'm getting more better visualization for my 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 work my creativity, my my life. And so those are the things that's really, it's never too late. And so this full moon coming up is something that, you know, we need to really, really look at it like a multifaceted diamond in every different angle and see how it shines. And so... Focus on something that really, really going to make you, give you that, that track of, of going forward. Backtrack. I backtracked and say, oh my God, okay, now I remember my self-worth back in 1988. And so, you know, times has changed. I mean, look, I'm sitting at this house, how much it is the value of it because... Hawaii is getting ridiculous. Not only Hawaii, but the world is getting ridiculous. No matter where you are, whether you are in China, Japan, India, Africa, UK, the United States, or Hawaii. And so all of these things really going to start to change because it comes down to the people and some of these people that are organizing on a lot of these things are getting very very annoyed and affected because we also have to you know really watch out because in this moon chart there is this also a China moon that's going to be coming out. And the news is going to be really big that's going to be bringing into it. And so I've been saying it, you know, on my personal Facebook about this. And so this is going to really come forward around the full moon and so a lot of these things is going to be very very affected they're going to be re-established many things restriction a lot of these things and so we need to really come together and really have this collective energy you know of how you really want to focus because that power control if you're not careful it's going to really start to affect your life. And I'm not saying it to scare anybody. I'm saying it because it's a huge, it's already a huge time. People's like, okay, when is a new, new era? When is a new thing? We're already here. It started already. It started since December 21st. And it went into January where we were in this part, part and it's just it's, 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 it's just started already and so we need to really focus on how we're gonna start like really is the past to the future that is really the pivotal point and you're gonna see the really huge shift and we're already seeing it, mask, vaccine passport, we offer up, you know, and all of this. And so what happened was, all of a sudden, because there is a lot of people power that's happening, it's not going the way top-down authorities thought it was going to happen. And so this is where we need to really focus on. And that's a huge change that's going to keep on gliding, like I said, 
to 2000, you know, 2024, 26. And so that's why 2020, you need to already have planted your seed and start to grow around your community, around your like-minded people. Because these are the people that's going to support you throughout your journey for the next 20 years. And, you know, for me, I can vouch for that because Coco Jor, I started in 2000 and 2001? No, 2002. Yeah, 2002, excuse me, 2002. 2001 I was doing the same thing and 2002 you know so it's been 20 years and I've already know what works what doesn't works what resonates to me and I've taken some hiatus time off during that 20 years and seek something which was so so important which finding the inner Side of me and my using my inner gift of what I can do to provide people more clarity and more ways of giving them that you know helping hand I'm like your right-wing person and so I've done that I did it I done it and you know as a, as that career really took off you know I'm now deciding to take that wing of Coco Jour and that wing of 77E Muse and centering myself to bring these two gifts that I have brought, you know, as my business. And I feel that bringing these two elements, which is the human consciousness as well as the animal consciousness, and bring it into one. You know, and so that's why for me is i see that my journey is to really help heal help give them tools and help guide them to a path that they really want to seek because really my passion take it for granted I don't take it as as okay go watch this video go do this go do that I I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one and feel that change with you and so you take care and I got a lots of different ideas because once my website goes up we're gonna be having all these individual things for you to order so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. I'm going to be posting it as well as check out my website, which is www.cocojorchannel.com. So have a wonderful, wonderful Aloha Friday, as well as getting ready for the full moon and start to write what no longer serves you because that's what it is. So you can, when the new moon comes in in August, you can welcome all of your great new intention. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful week and aloha.